guys. <laughs> I almost fell. So, I want to come to you guys with another video about my challenges that I was trying to overcome when I was in the process of trying to lose weight. Um, honestly, it was a lot of challenges. It was very mental. Cause I was in a place of transformation and I felt the transformation and I wanted to transform and transition into my next next phase and with me transitioning and like my changing my mental just everything all in one mental physical life stuff it was really a lot of challenges that I had to overcome um as you guys saw my weight loss journey and how I was before my weight loss journey, that is the heaviest I have ever been. The heaviest that I have ever been before that would probably be like maybe like 145 or 146-ish. And then my, uh, my lower weight would normally be like 120 or like 140. 25 or 128 around there so when i weighed my first of all i didn't even weigh myself first let me backtrack i didn't weigh myself first i saw that i had gained weight like the stuff that i was first of all the stuff that i already had was not fitting or it was way too tight i can see when i look at myself in the mirror that my stomach was like bulging over it wasn't smooth it was it, it 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 just wasn't fitting right and then i noticed that when i start to buy new clothes the clothes that i was buying was bigger than my normal size and sometimes i had to return the clothes based on how it was made because i had gained so much weight i i seen that i gained weight in my face and my arms my chest area um shirts that i that i had wasn't fitting right it was like super super tight my bras definitely wasn't fitting i i had spillage and everything going on when it came to my bra so i had to get a size bigger in bras so when i seen all of that i was like okay something got has got to give or take because this is not me like having like gaining all this weight i'm already going through mental things and like physical things in real life that i was going through um i was dealing with like and while i was losing weight too i wasn't gentle with myself at all i was very harsh when i when i realized how much weight i gained when i started i was really really harsh on myself i had times where i was like breaking down like crying because it just everything was just coming out. I was crying because I was like, I don't want to be this size no more. Like, what's going on? First of all, that's it wasn't healthy for me. That was that was the main thing of me trying to make sure that I got back to my normal size, get fit, and eat right. Because I was not eating right. It was unhealthy for me to be two hundred pounds, and I'm five five. Um, that's not a healthy. That's not a healthy weight. That's like. In the medical eyes term, that's actually obese for someone that's 5'5 five, five to be 200 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just a lot going on. I paid attention to what I was eating, too. I was eating very bad. I was eating fast food. Not every day, but all the time when I was out. Like, if I was out all day, I would get fast food at a certain time and then when i got hungry again i would get fast food and it wouldn't be like a steakhouse restaurant where they like make the food everything is raw i would be going to like burger spots like fast food drive through whatever i was eating that i was i had like a lot of sugar going on like i don't like sweet i don't like a lot of sugar and i'm not a big sweets person but i would normally probably snack on like some cookies and i would probably like get three or four cookies that's too much. Um, so when I was dealing with that stuff, as far as like mentally, I was just breaking out crying. I had challenges of like, if I woke up at a certain time, I was like, damn, do I want to work out? Do I want to work out? I don't feel like working out. I don't want to. I went to bed late. I woke up late. I was just 
it was just a lot going on. I was just looking at myself in the mirror like, I can't believe you gained that much, that much weight on top of what I was going through in that time that I'll talk about another video. But I learned that I needed to be gentle with myself to lose the weight because if I'm being very harsh to myself, like this is myself, if I'm being harsh and I'm not showing myself no love, I'm going to be frustrated. I'm going to be trying to rush, trying to lose the weight, not paying attention, not strategizing a, a, a healthy way to eat. Because I don't want to say it's a diet because it's not a diet because a diet is something you just do for a second. No, a healthy way of eating, a healthy way of thinking. And I mean, thinking about a lot of stuff like I was like more aggressive. Um, and you know, my hormones was all over the place. You know, I had gained a lot of that weight and it came from like the stuff that I was eating and then what I was going through in my current life. So my hormones was very, very, very imbalanced. My cheeks was chubby, chubby. I mean, as you guys see, I do have like discoloration on my skin, but my skin is smooth. The only problem I have is when I get breakouts, the discoloration don't want to go away. But then my face was breaking out. It was a lot going on. And I was realizing I need to be more gentle to myself and take my time and really pay attention to what I'm eating and how I'm doing it. Pay attention to reading the back of the labels on stuff and just removing a lot of sugar. I started uh, working out at home. I started walking every day and I started doing cardio every day now on the days that i did not walk i just did uh cardio but i did cardio longer i did it for like uh maybe like 30 minutes or like an hour so i could really sweat um yeah when i started doing those things i started changing the way i thought the way i thought the way i was thinking i started listening to more meditation music Sometimes I'll listen to music that have words that like uplift me and bring up my spirit, make me happy. Sometimes I did cry because I was just, I started showing more appreciation to myself and what I was going through and realizing that it could be hard, but I don't have to make it even harder. Sometimes it, it is hard going through changes and it's hard like letting all your emotions out and facing yourself in the mirror like just raw naked just bones just facing yourself and correcting what you want to correct and which where you want to see your growth at so when i started like listening to music i started like journaling way more than i normally would because i do journal but i started journaling a lot i journaled everything not just happy thoughts i journaled me being upset, how I felt during that day. I would write out what I want to see in the becoming future. I started writing out how I loved myself. I started doing affirmations. I started like listening to inspirational podcasts. Um, I wasn't watching a lot of like negative TV and stuff. I, I was watching a lot of stuff that was like uplifting or whatever so I could uplift myself. I started like really meditating more. I started getting out of the house more to uplift my spirit so I wasn't always in the house. I definitely prayed all the time. I read uh, the Bible. I read like passages from the Bible. Um, I was watching Elevation Church and I was praying and I started seeing progress when I was doing those things, but I was in a dark space before I started like really getting things together. I was very, I was in a dark, dark, dark space, and it is hard when you want to lose weight because you do have times you are going to cry, and that is okay to cry. It is okay to cry and be frustrated. It is okay to feel like you're failing. You got to get back up and do it because the you learn from that. And then you learn more as you track your progress. You have to be gentle with yourself. You have to really pay attention to what you're eating and who you're surrounding yourself with too because that plays a big part in like your journey of wanting to lose weight. But the biggest part is yourself. Getting yourself together, loving yourself, getting your emotions under control because emotions need discipline too, not just discipline in everyday life. So I had times... Yep, I was frustrated, but I got through it. Um, I changed the way I think, and I still do those things today, to be honest. Like, I look at life differently versus when I was in a bad space. So, this is 
my attitude and my outlook on my journey. Hope